a convergence, the 1980s called. They want their dialogue back. Convergence number three hops right into the action. Unfortunately, most of the book still consists of fighting robots. Convergence is a big deal, DC, so act like it. Worlds collide in this arc, so do something interesting. I can see the Justice League fighting robots anywhere. Have heroes and villains team up to save their city from their counterpart heroes and villains. Have villains from two different worlds work together to kill their respective heroes. Do something different. Why the dick are they still fighting robots? We see very little of the crux of this series. Dick. The art changed up a bit in this book. Jason Paz and Steven Segovia do just as good a job as the previous books in portraying the action and showing character moments but something that makes this issue better is their use of double page action. It certainly breaks up the monotony from numbers one and two. Convergence has become a bit like an old car. Even when you turn the key and it seems like it might start to be good, you expect it to fail in the end. Dick. Even as the artwork gets better, the story written by Jeff King stays just as arbitrary. A villain with a one track mind is hardly a character worth hating. Give him some purpose, some diversity, and some reason. The logical continuity in this book is also all over the place. I won't give too much away, but if you can put two and two together, you'll be scratching your head a lot. Then there's this weird romance thing going on between Flash and Yolanda. Yo, Yolanda, you all right? Sure, Flash, considering the circumstances, I'm all right. Awesome, can I get you anything? Nah, I'm good for now, thanks. You sure, girl? Yeah, cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Jeff King thinks you get a lady's digits. Dick. For all of its flaws, there are a couple redeeming properties like these little guys. If you can tell who they are from their outfits, you should be pretty excited. If you can't, you'll just have to pick up Convergence number three to find out more. King also makes good use of Batman and not Nightwing Dick Grayson again. It would be wonderful if he could write the other heroes just as well. Thomas Wayne is quickly moving up the ladder of my favorite Batman personas. Death, plot, questions, answers, we're finally getting somewhere. Still, we're three issues in and haven't seen anything entirely interesting. So this issue falls to a one on the dick side of the Richter scale. The real problem with Convergence is that it fails to live up to its expectations. I came here to watch race wars between Superman, Wonder Woman hold her own against Hawk Girl, and see how Green Lantern handles the Flash. Let us know in the comments below which DC heroes you want to see duke it out. Don't forget to like and share this video. Hit subscribe and come back next time for more dicked.